No, come on! Oh wait, no, I miscounted. Oh, let's go! <laughs> yes! Oh, I can't count. Yeesh. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> I played three terrible games, and the last one was so embarrassing. I will preface this by saying that this is the first time I'm actually playing the Teemo deck that has been uh, meta. I- shit, I'm playing. I'm playing a mirror matchup. Okay, I'm probably gonna play dog shit, and I'm like one game away from hitting, um... Masters, I think one or two games away from hitting Masters if I win. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be drawing yet because it's the first time I'm really playing the deck. Grunt an ally in play, an ally in hand, plus one, plus one, grunt an ally in hand, three, three, and another two, two. Um, I do want the chime, and I think I can get powered up. This one powered up. I don't think I have the value. Then again, I don't, I assume you want traps or you want the Teemo more than anything, but um, it does make sense to play with elusives. This is ass. He's going to get a freebie if he chooses to attack. Actually, yeah, I won't give it to him, right? But you can waste it. I'm not going to give it to him. You never know what your opponent has in their hand, and them being able to play it early is just always super obnoxious, and if you give them that opportunity, like, you're just never going to have uh, the best of times later on. I have to play this first, and then we'll play team into it. Usually you want to play whatever you can to bait out your opponent's, like, next card or whatever. They can also choose to play nothing, and I'd be okay. Wow, he actually showed that hand. Okay, hear me out. He doesn't kill Teemo. Hear me out. He doesn't kill Teemo. It's very doable that he doesn't kill Teemo. I hate it here. <laughs> Shit. No, he doesn't have a spell to kill Teemo, but he had a card to do so. So that was pretty obnoxious. That was pretty lame. Um, is this like a time that kind of thing? Grant in hand and another, like one in play. I don't know how to play Purifying Flames. Um, I think it's only the ones in hand. Do I really want to play this right now? Probably not. Well, it's either that or I play Augmented Clockling. This card is usually played in a lot of um, decks, but I think Prediction is practically really good. Um, what do I want? I think this would be fine for Teemo. It would be fine for the next round since I'll be attack phasing. Uh, that's not good. We can also make Teemo the buffed up unit. Um, let's play a little slow. I don't want to get show the dark inloads done yet. That's a pretty useful Teemo in my hand. Um, it'll be a 2-2 either way. No matter how I play it. Elusive's pretty useless right now. Um, this kind of sucks. I think I played a kill. And then just play off of that? I think so. It's because I just don't have anything right now. I'm in a back foot. Is this what it's like to play Teemo? You just... You're constantly suffering? You're constantly struggling? Constantly in pain. Constantly in pain. Dude, this guy's committed. How much did that cost him? Five mana to do that? That's obnoxious. If I play this... No, it's not worth it. It's okay to fake out. Yeah, it's okay to fake out. But, that's already two turns, man. <sighs> that's already two turns! Uh, that's not good. Yeah, it is for the ones in hand.
What will you do now? That's a question. No shot, brother. You got nothing on me. I don't have anything though to value. Um, I can play this and kind of just be annoying. I can block this. I can't really block it, but I can be annoying. Mm, I do want to block it with something though. I think the three is fine. It's an eight damage, so I do have to block it. That way I'm able to get rid of this. Play it out. I don't have eight for the Dark and Lodestone. He doesn't know that I have this in my hand, which is really valuable. Uh, and I know that he has it in his hand. I could buff up the Teemo with the Dark and Lodestone. Realistically. Um, he can take six. If I play up right now. I don't care if he kills the Winged Messenger, to be honest. It's a three cost card, you know, and his is a, a two cost card. Like, in reality, like, you could be thinking of them as, like, high value, but they're just high value, like, on the board. They're, they cost very little to, like, have it been played kind of thing. He has two units on his hand. Okay. One of them's an augmented clockling. I wonder what the other one is. What the shit? What the shit? Bro. It's an 8A2 cost. Dude, I got nothing. Oh, dude, he gets the attack first too. I know exactly what's happening and I hate it. He's gonna play the Dark and Blood stun. This one's a unit. He... I know one of them's a unit for sure. That's all I know. I would play the Dark and Lodestone. I'm gonna play the Dark and Lodestone too. I'll 1-1 one, one him on it, and I can block the Augmented Clockling. But I can also hold the, the, the Dark and Lodestone, kind of like as a fake. Actually, he didn't play it. Interesting. Um, This is really good for me now. I'm in a really good spot. I played the Dark and Lodestone as well uh, to fake. I can literally take all this damage and it won't matter. Like, I, it really won't. Um, a, I can have to block this one, I guess. He can ki hit me with everything. Like, it doesn't matter at this point in this position. I do have to block one, don't I? I do. Which one am I blocking? This is a Nexus Strike, right? Yeah. Uh, the other ones are irrelevant. The hard part is that this thing is an 8-8. So one of my units is going to die either way. Yeah. Either the 7-7 seven, seven or the 1-1 one, one will die. Next turn either way. That's hard. I don't know what to do. If I play this deck more, I would know like what expectation is. <laughs> I should have looked through the deck. I'm such a meta slave. I'm just like, yeah, this will, this will do wonders. This one. This one right here. Can I have it? I think it's fine. Like, he, he probably has a spell, as it is, and like not attacking right now would be really dumb. 7-7 um, seven, seven will die to the 8-8, eight, eight, but he has to pick one or the other. Also, the Teemo will stay 7-7, seven, seven, and he'll stay with the spell shield as well. And blocking the 8-1 will be a lot easier for going to the next turn. He also doesn't know what I have in my hand. Uh, we do have to play this? No, we don't. Okay. As long as I have blockers, that's all that matters. And that's three blockers right here. Nice. Not nice. I needed this alive. He doesn't- he can't kill me right- No! Shot! Do I die? Um, four- Six, I don't, I can't block with that. There's no point in summoning. Uh, oh, I lost. No! Dude, I was in the back foot for the whole game. But, oh wow, I was really close to the Masters. I think, okay, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I know I'm dog shit, but like, I think this was a bad, like, start. 
and I drew it. This is such a low cost deck and somehow, some way, I ended up with Winged Messenger twice. And this is like such an inexpensive deck. What the shit man, come on. Realistically, I can still get Masters in two wins. Realistically, right? We can still do it. Do quick stretches. This is dog shit in my hand this early. Actually, it's not. I'm lying. You can use it to buff up Teemo and can put yourself in a good spot. But it requires you holding on to Teemo for a long time. This deck does not have... This has Frostbite, if anything. And it has challenges and um, spells that deal with you. You know what? I'm griefing. I'm griefing. This is fine. This is doable. This is actually a really good hand to start. You know? I'm just saying. Wait, Acorn with perf Purifying Flames. Super, super doable. Super, super doable now. I know I'm not dog shit. Hear me out. What is he gonna do? Nothing. I could have played Teemo. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking now. Like, shit. Okay, so it's like a buff of Teemo deck. You're just pressuring with Teemo. I do want to hit again. If I stop him from blo attacking, like, it's really obnoxious. Uh, is it permanent? And I stun an enemy. Uh, I'm also able to lower the cost next turn. Wait, which one? This one has quick attack, actually. What is this? Can I do? An invoke is so useless. Silence a unit, that would be big. And I can kill the orn. I can kill it. I can kill it. We pass. I'm gonna kill my little my little rat here. My little rat will die. <laughs> That's so dumb. Okay, whatever. I forgot um, how weapons work. Oh man! Oh baby! A triple! Okay, it's whatever. Another day in the field. You can kill it. That sucks. It's a useless unit. If you can kill it, it's a useless unit. You can't kill it anymore though. That's a ton of damage. The elusive prior is like huge. He probably has a buff up though, something to pay attention to. Seven. Glad there's a chef on the team now. What's for dinner? Oh, I uh spilled tonight's stew in our last battle. Oops. The 6-6. Six, six. He can't deal with it anymore. Now it's Elastial Blessing. He doesn't have enough damage. Not anymore. Uh, he has to do it slow. That's the only way he actually survives on it. Even if he thinks he can, like, deal with it on impact, he can't. He dies. He dies on the level up. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. He thinks he has it, too. Oh my god, he has Barrier! Oh! I'm dog shit. That's fine. A thousand oh. years of battle and I'm just warming up. This is embarrassing, dude. <laughs> Winnable. It is. I think I kill him actually this turn. He has five, he has three, I have nothing. Hey, two. How's the ship holding up? Still full of holes after you taunted that sea monster, you dope. Hey, 
Captain, how's the ship holding up? Still full of holes after you taunted that sea monster, you dope. Sorry, and sneaky. I like it. I could have won. But I didn't know what spells he had. Could I have won? Yeah, I could have. We'll play defense. I should have rushed it. I might have messed up. Is this winnable? No, it isn't. Okay. Um. Orn. Orn Jax. Now you know how to deal with that one. Okay. We're back at it. We have to think of how or who we're going to deal with and how we're going to express it. It's another Teemo player. I can play this next turn. Who has the attack token? He does. I think it's fine. I think it's super, super fine. Super doable. God damn degenerate. It's not doable anymore. How am I going to do this? I can't attack with this. At least I can summon and get the chime. This is so bad. I should look into the play and think like, okay, is this doable without the intervention of another card? The reality is that no. Like the, the, the enemy player can play this, 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 and like, this is dog shit. Like you can't win with this. But um, I'm so bad. I'm so so bad. Oh. I don't know how to deal with this one. Realistically, I don't have a block. I can play Purifying Flames and then just play off of that. Realistically, uh, just let him attack, play Purifying Flames, and then just go from there. Like, that's all I can do. Like, I don't have anything else. Um, yeah, that's fine. Like, I just don't have options here. I have four in mana next turn, so I'm going to play Teemo, and then we're going to play Winged Messenger. And we'll be fine. Yeah, like, that's fine. Teemo, and then Winged Messenger, and then, like, we'll go from there. Should be fine. Should be a-okay. No, no. Oh wait, I can be super obnoxious. He might silence the unit. That's true. And then I can silence him. Uh, I can't silence the weapon. I could do a five. Okay, we're in a good spot here. There's too many spells. I hate when like my deck has so many spells that they're like the options that I have is too many to make a mistake. That's why I don't like playing like set karma. Like usually like you end up running into like that situation where like you're just making so many mistakes and like you know that you're making the mistakes after you've done the play. You're like, oh my God, like that was so bad. Be usually because of how retroactively like your opponent's able to play around you. Um, and that's like enough to like know. I'm probably blocking <clears throat> anything that like, he does with the idea of playing Pelpa Cascade here. <clears throat> it is attack turn. Yeah, yeah. I kill this. 
with a team and then just play this here. We can't. We have to kill Team actually. We can kill these two. Yeah, we kill these two specifically. These are the ones that are like probably the most uh, difficult to deal with. Uh, don't want to give them the mana. You even though Teemo is one cost, you have to think about the fact that like Teemo's value um, is super super huge on the map, and like for you to like play to like let him die is weird to me. To me, it's weird. Like yeah, like sure, like you still have pressure and like you still have prio, but like at what cost kind of thing. Um, so I'm not sure what he's doing. I need to play Shield Vault because I can't play Celestial Blessing. I don't have a single unit in my hand. Um, and with Celestial Blessing being played, we have Pell Cascade, uh, Cascade as an option twice. Uh, using the Shield Vault, he paused, pondered a lot. So he knows he has to block with the weaker units. And that in itself is very obnoxious because now you don't have as many options. Um, to like deal with me. Big hype. Big, big hype. This is super easy. Probably gonna high heal Teemo. You don't have to. But I do need to play something simply to draw more. Um, do a Pell Cascade. I'm like, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we could have played Celestial Blessing. And we probably will. Simply to get Teemo like, stronger and stronger. Uh, and also to not burn a single mana cost. And just keep going, keep it going, keep it going. I'm getting a better idea. Of what it is that I'm supposed to be doing and not to not be like a freaking idiot so uh, this is fine we're fine we're fine we're fine oh, I want to block I do want to block but I do want acorn to be better Probably just play this. We're probably blocking with Timar or with Winged, um, anyways, realistically. Asmus is probably gonna be the one, the target. Timo getting like summoned is super easy to deal with. There's a lot of attack. Like he has to. He has to attack because he has Asmus, but if you attack with it, you're kind of getting baited. Like you're baiting yourself real realistically. Um I'm not sure if they know that. Look how much mana I'm holding, like, it's so obvious that I'm, like, I'm baiting so hard. Um, I wouldn't attack with Teemo here either way. Like, in no shot, like, I just don't see that the value, like, attacking with Teemo. Um, it's a 2-2 two -two either way, but we need to block in the heavier. Cool. I do have a, I do get to block everything either way. Like, no matter how you view it. Uh, give an ally one. And then I have Pell Cascade again. He does not know that. This is all wins? Yes. Cool. I just don't want to make a mistake. I'm playing this deck, which I normally don't play, on my way to Masters in Diamond 1, and I'm like, yes! I'm gonna have a good time. Because I want to make good videos. Holy shit, I'm so dog shit. The amount of misplays I've had this game is crazy. It's insane. He will play... Does he have 7? He won't have 8. No, yeah, he will. He will have 8 next turn, but ob obviously, like, uh, we're playing with the intent. No shot, you have something. No, no, no. He's playing the same deck as me. And if he's playing the same deck as me, he doesn't have anything to kill. Like, he doesn't have anything uh, that would, like, give priority. He only has summons, but... Oh! My bad. I'm so bad. How much does this do? Deal one. How much does it do? Deal one. Discard up to two. Does this get save it? No. Well, that was sad. <laughs> I don't think that was the right play, though. I feel like he had everything he needed. Like he he doesn't have to block the next turn anyways. Realistically, like you can just um. I have such a bad hand though. He doesn't know what I had, right? But like, I'm looking at, I was looking at his hand and I was looking at mine and realistically, like he was in a really, really good spot. I'm not gonna show my hand, I can't. Uh, he doesn't know that I have like two spells or one spell kind of thing. Like I kind of want to bait. 
here. Um. Cool. Okay. We're in a winning position right now. No shot. I lose. It would be embarrassing for both me and my opponent. There is a Teemo that I've always wanted and always loved. I can't let him summon, right? Has to block the Nexus Strike. If I let him summon, like, I don't know what he has and, like, I put myself in a rough spot. He might have fast spells, but, like, it's fine. I hold Teemo, like, he can kill <laughs> He can kill Teemo and it's just like, ah. Ah, you can kill Teemo. We play Esmus. We hopefully get the... The chime on Timo, and hopefully he's a two-two, and then go from there. That's all. I, that's all I can hope for. Uh, I can hope for Wing Messenger. This is super awkward for both me and my opponent because we're both literally just watching the game slowly dwindle in our eyes and hoping for the best. I don't have any spells in my hand, but my opponent doesn't know that. Hopefully, I get a chime right now because if I don't get the chime right now, I have to play whatever the shit. Okay. Actually, super winnable even without Chime. If I play this. But we have to bait with Teemo. He has two cards in his hand. We bait with Teemo. And realistically... Realistically... I win... With... The three bonus damage. Because I have enough to kill. Realistically. I have to do it on a unit that, that won't, that's going to be harder to block, because I don't want to put everything onto one unit. He has no... It's a zero. I have to hold this. This is so awkward. Ugh. God damn, thank you. The Dark and Lodestone took like an hour and a half to show up here. Hey, look, we're twinning. Wait a second, wait a whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, I don't know what he has, though. I was like, whoa. Calm down. Don't make that 4 1 into a 7 7. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> Yo, I have one too. <laughs> Let's go. We're twinning. Woo! Woo! Okay. You know what? I still win. And we had a good time, you know, like that's all that matters. That we had a blast together as um, good countrymen. Okay, he has to block a lot. Realistically, he cannot block everything. Pog? Pog? If he has bow, I lose. Wait. No! Come on! Oh wait, no, I miscounted. Oh, let's go! <laughs> yes! Oh, I can't count. Yeesh. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> I played three terrible games, and the last one was so embarrassing. Oh my god. Uh, if you like, subscribe and like. Thank you for watching.